Okay, I want to go through the Crest DSP with you. Uh, when you turn it on, you'll see this Crest Audio. As you turn this knob here, you'll go to each feature. So here's your volume, and zero is all the way up. That's zero dB. Then you'll see you have a crossover here. So A and B both have a crossover, and you can do it where the crossover is the independent, where A and B are completely independent, or you can make them so channel B equals channel A, lows and highs. So it's, it's a very, very nice crossover, and it, 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 does, it does a lot of, diff lot of different things for you. Now, you have a high pass, you have a low pass on each one as well. So the best thing about subwoofers, if you can low, do a crossover on the low end of your subwoofer so you don't go too low, you can really enhance the sound of your subwoofer. And a lot of people don't give that to you. This is a professional unit. It is not anything less than that. So then, so the EQ section, again, it can, right now it's bypassed. So you can do A and B or A and B independently. So the best thing about the EQ channel to me is the max bass enhancement I, I spoke about. You can go from zero to 100%, because quite frankly, 100% could be a little obnoxious, but some clubs may need that. So the nice thing is you can tune it in where you want it so you have that right amount of sonic low end that you're looking for without too much. And again, that could be on A and B or just A and B. And the great part about this is if you have a 12 inch unit and it doesn't have a lot of bass, you can actually make it sound like it has a lot of bass and it won't blow out your low frequency driver like a sonic maximizer mic because it doesn't really put any more energy into that low frequency. You just hear it. So that's max base. Then after max base, each channel has four parametric EQs. So you can, you can really EQ your system exactly where you want it. So it's a very comprehensive system. Then of course you have delay. Delay is very useful for a few reasons. If you're in a live setup where the speakers are about 10, 20 feet in front of, let's say, the live performers, there's going to be a, a, about an 18 to 19 millisecond delay between the live sound and the sound coming through the PA, so you may want to delay that. You also may have your subwoofers in front of your mains. So delay is very useful, so you have delay for A and B. So the limiter section is what protects your speakers. So you can set your limiter threshold so it'll never get louder than a certain point. So if it's a club, for instance, or you're not the one actually running the system, you can protect the system so other people can't turn it up too much and, and, and mess up the speakers. So with all those features, this is a pretty, pretty significant type of uh, unit. Then after the limiter, you have your, your, your memory user and your locks. So you can lock this and you can have different presets so you can save something for this set of speakers or that set of speakers. Or if it's in, in, in a live club, you can have one for dance, one for hip hop, one for just whatever type of use you're using, and then you can lock it so no one can mess with it. So it can be totally locked, and that way you set it, you forget it, and you turn it on, everything's there, so you don't have to buy a separate processor. It's definitely worth the money, and the max base is really why you want this. So that's the DSP section, the ProLite series.